Unraveling, the hair of the dog, a guide to understanding English idioms. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English idiom that might have you scratching your head. The hair of the dog. Have you ever heard someone use this phrase and wondered what they were talking about? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it in conversation. So, let's get started and unravel the mystery of the hair of the dog. The hair of the dog is a shortened form of the longer phrase, the hair of the dog that bit you. It's an idiom that refers to the idea of curing a hangover by having a small amount of alcohol the next morning. Yes, you heard it right. The belief is that by consuming the same substance that caused your discomfort, in this case, alcohol, you can alleviate your symptoms. It's a curious concept, isn't it? But remember, this is more of a cultural saying than medical advice. The phrase, the hair of the dog, has an interesting history. It dates back to a time when people believed that you could cure a dog bite by applying a hair from the same dog to the wound. This was part of the medieval medical practice of, like cures like, also known as similia similibus curantur. Over time, this concept was applied metaphorically to hangovers, suggesting that a small amount of alcohol could cure the aftereffects of drinking too much. Now that you know what it means and where it comes from, you might be wondering how to use the hair of the dog in conversation. It's typically used in informal settings, often among friends discussing remedies for hangovers. For example, after a night of heavy drinking, someone might say, I need the hair of the dog that bit me this morning. In a humorous advice to a friend suffering from a hangover, you might suggest, how about the hair of the dog? A little brunch mimosa might do the trick. Remember, while it's a playful and widely recognized idiom, it's not actual medical advice and is best used in light-hearted conversations. And there you have it, folks. The hair of the dog is more than just an odd saying. It's a window into historical beliefs and a fun addition to your conversational idiom arsenal. We hope this video has shed some light on this quirky phrase and that you feel more confident using it in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting explorations into the English language. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.